It's only by the grace of God that more of these victims escaped with their lives. But for the ultimate loss of Ms. Walls and Mr. Hines, the law was clear that a significant penalty must be incurred. No amount of prison time will bring back these victims. But today, I applaud Criminal District Court Judge Lori A. White for making the difficult but correct decision to impose upon Mr. Tony the maximum sentence of 90 years for this inexcusable offense. This defendant's expressions of remorse provide little comfort for the loved ones of those lost, nor the victims who survived. He deserves the punishment that has been imposed. Twice in the past three years, our city has seen a pall cast over Mardi Gras celebrations because of the poor decisions made by a drunk driver. Nielsen Rizzuto injured more than two dozen people when he plowed his truck into a crowd enjoying the Endymion Parade in 2017. It was something of a miracle that no one lost their lives that night, but many lives were forever changed. The incident involving Mr. Tony, unfortunately, delivered even more heartbreak. If there is to be any positive to come from these tragic events, please let it be a deeper realization that driving while impaired is not worth the potential risk to yourself or to innocent others whom your decisions might affect. 